If a family tragedy hits close to your home, it can be devastating. It could take you down to your knees. You have a choice if that happens. You can let it continue to break you, or you can do something positive about it. This is Galen, and this is his story. Uh, my brother's name was Keegan, and he was two years older than me, uh, and we were very close. You know, I think a lot of my sort of best qualities that I have about um, being a good person come from uh, my brother and sort of that connection that we had. It was December 17th of 98, and uh, my brother and I had gone up to see my dad for his birthday, and we were uh, on our way home. There was a gentleman pulling a, one of those silver like Airstream travel trailers on a truck and it wasn't hooked up properly and there were no lights on it and about half a mile on the freeway the travel trailer came off of the truck. So it was laying on its side across the freeway, both lanes. Uh, we smacked into it uh, at 65 miles an hour. Uh, the whole entire car was destroyed, every piece of it. Um, except my sort of seat and my door was fine. Just opened the door and got out. Uh, and my brother's side of the car was just destroyed. Uh, I mean, he was killed instantly, but, um, you know, I was just there waiting for the, you know, ambulance to arrive and, and stuff and just, like, holding his hand. And it was, like, the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life. I also tell my mom that my brother's dead. It was brutal. I was 18 and uh, Keegan was 20. So our family was stuck with the funeral expenses, counseling, my ambulance ride and hospital bill. Uh, you know, all at that time, there, was just, there wasn't any sort of assistance for that. It, it's like insult to injury of like, hey, by the way, on top of all of this grieving that you have to do because you lost a family member, like here's a bunch of bills. Everybody has that sort of pull in their heart of, man, like that's so terrible, I wish I could do something. Pass the hat basically makes it so that every single person individually can be a philanthropist. Uh, the way it works is that we help families that are victims of tragic events. So house fires, uh, car accidents, just general tragedy, crime, disaster. Uh, Pass the Hat helps family by providing financial relief. So our first case, our first family that we helped was an 11 year old kid. Uh, he fell uh, about 60 feet straight down, basically off a cliff. And he broke both of his femurs, tibia and fibia in his right leg. He knocked a bunch of his molars out, messed up his jaw and his mouth pretty badly. I remember uh, I asked a friend of ours, um, can I go roll rocks down the hill? He said yes, and I did. And I slid down, I felt that. And then I just closed my eyes and it was all black. Uh, his mom, when she was trying to get to him, she also sort of slipped and uh, she broke one of her wrists and her other hand, she had like 20 stitches on her hand. And then he called the Harborview for my medical bills and called me up all excited because they had said we met the requirements mm -hmm. for them to take care of it. And he said later on in the future, if something comes up with Caden to where we can't, you know, we don't qualify or something like that, he said to give him a call since Caden was the first one and he said that they will, they want to help Caden. Uh, with this model of Pass the Hat, if you give me 2,500 people that are signed up giving two bucks a month, we have $5,000 every single month consistently that we can count on, that we know on the first of the month, we know we have that much money to help families with, and none of those people pays more than two bucks a month. Oh, and we're signing up for Pass the Hat. Oh, absolutely, okay. absolutely. And I think everybody should, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Our slogan, the idea is that philanthropy is not just for rich people. As an individual that doesn't make a lot of money, right, uh, I can still afford $2 a month. You go to the website and you sign up just one time with a debit card or credit card, to give two bucks a month, every month, as an ongoing contribution, and that's it. There are still people out there that want to help. There's a very diverse and qualified group of people uh, that are involved geographically and also um, you know, different types of organizations. So we meet once a month, we say we have this many people, we've got this much money, we help the families, done. It's important for us to keep our expenses incredibly low so that more of every 
you know, penny that you are contributing goes to help families. Uh, we have an FAQ, a frequently asked questions section on the website, and there's also contact information. So if people have questions about things that are not answered or they don't know, they can email me directly um, or call and ask questions and uh, we'll help them out. So. What would your brother say to you today, seeing what you've done? He would tell me that he's proud of me. If you or your family are unexpectedly faced with a trauma, just remember that you might not be out there alone. There are others that can help. Thanks for watching Talk It Up TV. Hey, and don't forget to find us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash talkitup tv one.